Hey, what's on? Hey, what's going on today, YouTube? Today I have another video about MPVacious. Today's topic is how to do screenshots directly from MPV to your clipboard or to Anki. So Vishal Narate brought up this question in the comments of one of my videos and said, could you please make a video about screenshotting directly to the clipboard? Well, in fact, you can use MPVacious with a little bit of modification to do it directly into Anki, which is the end goal for this. What he says is that he takes the screenshot um, as MPV is, and you have to go to that folder where the screenshot was saved, open that image, and then copy it, and then paste it into Anki. So that's a lot of steps to do when you can just do it in the click of a button. Here's what he means by that. Okay, so if I take this clip, for example, I have my MPV in the right corner, I have my file browser in the right, bottom right, and then Anki in the top left. What he is saying is, in order to do screenshots, you have to do S here, it's gonna save into the file. You gotta open it. Then you gotta right click it, copy, exit out of this, then go to your image and then paste it. And that takes a little bit too long. So here's the, the process that I have set up with MPVacious and this is how simple it is to do it. Here's all I have to do. I just have a shortcut on the key and I just click S and then I click M and it would add the new note. Let me show you how that works real quick. So if I create a test card real quick, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add it, then I'm gonna do the same thing, and it's gonna automatically update it in my um, browser. And as you can see when I preview it, the image is here. So that saves, I would say, probably around five to 10 seconds per card. And here's how you get into doing that. So let me go ahead and close all this down. And so what we're going to only be working in today is the file explorer. So we don't need to download anything new. If you have MPVacious installed, it's going to be all with MPVacious. So let's go ahead and go into our MPV local data. So go ahead, do percent app data percent. And this is going to bring you to your, um, your roaming folder. Go into your MPV and then go into your scripts folder. So if you installed MPV the way that I did previously, you would have a MPVacious master. And then this is what we're gonna be creating. So MPVacious screenshot is the new MPVacious modification. And so what I'm gonna do is just delete this and show you how I modify the MPVacious master. So it's not that complicated to modify it, but um, you gotta know what you're doing inside of the code. And so what you need to do is just um, go back out to your main scripts to the parent folder the scripts folder go ahead right click um, left click MPVacious and then copy it and then go ahead and paste a new copy so what I like to label mine was screenshot so I kind of know what script it is so I'm gonna do MPVacious screenshot okay then what you want to do is go into it then open the subs to srs.lua file and you're going to be met with the um, configuration file or the Lua script. And so here's where we're going to do a little bit of modification. So um, Tatsumoto made it pretty simple to just um, make modifications to this and take things out that you don't need. So if you're just worried about screenshots, what I'm going to do is take out the sentence field here. Go ahead, take that out. Then I'm going to go ahead and take out the sentence audio field. I'm going to go ahead and leave image. Um, this image field is going to be what the whatever field you have in Anki. So if I go jump back into Anki, for example, my add here, my image field is where I have the um, is the is where I'm putting the image in. And so you want to have the name of the field that you have in here between the two quotes so mine is image so i'm going to put image here say for example yours was named notes i would put notes here and that is going to go automatically go into the note the notes here the screenshot and so you want to make sure that whatever model name you, that your sentence is you have in there as well this should all be set up from previous ones but i'm just going to go through it again and then the deck name subs to srs Subs to SRS is the deck name that I have here. And that is all you need to do in the Anki part here. Um, one part that was new that I took out was the misc info underscore format. So I went ahead and took this out. So 
whatever was inside of here, I just made it into two quotes and that will be fine. For Forvo support, if you don't want the Forvo audio, go ahead and just say no here. And then you won't get anything for vocab field and vocab audio. So that's all the modifications you need to do up here. If you want higher screenshot quality, go ahead and do 100 and whatever snapshot you want here. So the next thing we need to do is go ahead and scroll all the way down and find the name of it. So what you want to type in is, oh, I already have it here, is you want to type in MPVacious options. And so that's going to bring you down to the um, this line where it says OSD, these two things, submenu and MPVace options. What I'm going to do inside of these quotes is I'm going to type in screenshot and I'll show you later what that actually does and what it actually indicates. And so you want to type in the screenshot here or whatever you want to label it. Then what you want to do is um, find the key bind. So if you go ahead and do find what key bind, okay, key bindings, the open advanced menu, we want to open a different menu so you can still use. Oh, here's why we're, we're changing this and why we're creating a new one is because we want to have, we want to be able to use MPVacious and we also want to be able to use this screenshot one. So we're not completely getting rid of MPVacious, which is why we're creating a new script folder. So what you want to do is add a different key binding here. Whatever you want to do, what I did was capital A. So this just capital A normally on MPV changes the aspect ratio, but I don't really care for that. So what I'm going to do is just have the shortcut as capital A. And so that is all you need to edit inside of this subs to SRS Lua file. Go ahead and go to file here, go to save and then exit out. And then we're going to go ahead and pull up the same thing that we had and see if it works. Alrighty. So we've got our MPV open. We've got our Anki open and then we have our Yomi-chan open. Another screen you might like opened is the, um, the browser. So if you go ahead, go into your Anki and click the browse, you're going to open up the browser. You can go ahead and put this in the bottom right corner and we'll just leave that there. And then you just want to make sure that add window is back up in the top left or wherever you prefer. And so for example, if we want to create this, um, this screenshot, it's pretty simple, but let me first show you why we did the capital A. So for example, I'm clicking, um, just regular A on the keyboard, not capitalized, just lowercase. If I click lowercase A, it's going to give me regular MPVacious, the normal MPVacious options, and you can use this as normal. Now, if we go back and do capital A, so if you click shift and then A, you're going to get the screenshot MPVacious options, which is why I labeled it screenshot inside of the .lua file. And so what we're focused on is that screenshot um, .lua. So we're going to leave this one open. What we want to do is keep the same functionality. And so we're just going to do T, which is going to enable our auto copy. And so as you can see, um, we have the thing pop up in Yomi-chan. So for example, if I wanted to create a card for Anatatachi, um, I just click the plus add expression here. And what that's going to do is it's going to add it. Then say I want this as the screenshot. I'm going to go ahead and click S and then I'm going to go ahead and click M. And that's going to update the new card that I had here with just the screenshot. No audio, um, no sentence or anything like that. No audio for the sentence, I mean. So that is how you get it with just the screenshot. This does in fact work with, um, with any card that you add, for example. So if we, if we go into the add part and we want to add something, uh, let's test two. If I go ahead and add this card, and say I skip a little bit forward and I want a screenshot here, for example, I'll click S and I'll click M and it's going to update the previous card that I did. And so as you can see, when I go ahead to preview it, I have the, the screenshot and it's right here. So that's about it for today's tutorial. This is just how to get a screenshot directly from MPV into Anki.
Silvershout, I hope that answered your question. If anyone else has any questions about topics like these, please let me know down in the comments below. I like to try to find new ways to make things go faster for people and to help me out in my studies as well. If you like the video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing if you want to see more content. And as always, good luck with your studies out there and I'll see you in a future video.